Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Halo RT2 with the Halo Fun app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. So, let's begin here immediately. We have the Halo RT2 and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the Play Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it. After we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to the Google Play Store. And here we have the Halo Fun app which we can download and connect to our watch. So, we are going to download it really fast right now, and after we have done so we're going to go inside and see how to connect our watch. So now that the app is done let's open it up and see what's inside. First, it's going to ask to accept the service agreement and privacy policy, so we're going to agree. Then there is the login info where if you don't have an account already, you can create one or log in with Google or Facebook. After that it will ask to use Bluetooth which we're also going to accept. Next it will ask to run the app in the background so it can work better, like location settings, which we need to go into our phone settings permissions and let the app use our location so it works better. And also we're going to activate the system pop-up window, so the app can be displayed on other apps too. Then we're going to set up the other permissions like call log access, camera access, and other permissions. Now that we've done so we can get right into the app and see some of the options inside. Inside the app and home you've got an add device button where we can connect our device, so we're going to click on it, and it's going to start scanning for nearby devices. After it finds your watch, it will send you a request to bind it, and after we accept, will be paired successfully, and we can start experiencing the app. The first option we can see is dial settings where we can change the profile or face of our watch. Here we have the online watch plate which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces, with different categories, and you can choose whichever you like best, and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves, we can download it, and then it will change our watch face immediately. Next, we have health monitoring where we've got heart rate warning reminder where we can set our watch to send a notification if our heart rate gets to a certain point. Next, we've got the heart rate sensor where we can turn on automatic or manual heart rate monitoring. After that we've got message notice which will ask for permission to access your contacts and send and receive messages. Also, you need to turn on your notifications in your settings so it can send you notifications on your watch. After that you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use and what notifications from, or if you want you can turn them off altogether. After that we've got watch first page sorting where we can manage our widgets to see which ones we want on our watch. After we've done the changes, it will automatically change it into our watch as you can see here. Next, we've got DND mode or do not disturb where you can set it how you want, we've got alarm where you can add any alarms that you want. After that we have sedentary reminder which allows you to make reminders to stand up and move around every once in a while. We also have incoming call notice which will ask permission to make and manage phone calls and access your phone log. Next, we've got other options like raise your arm to light up screen which we can turn on or off, also duration of on screen to set how long your screen stays on, time format to change the time format and last we've got weather where we can set our city from using our location. We've also got settings on our top right which shows our version, reset and new firmware updates. 
And in home we've got the health monitoring options where you can track every activity you have done while wearing your watch and other health data like steps where we can see all of our steps activity calories burnt, distance traveled also it can track your workouts, sleep, heart rate, SpO2, and pressure where you can see all the data which your watch has sent and gathered from monitoring you. And last in the bottom middle we have sport where we can start any activity that we want and which shows us all the exercises we've done, the distance we've traveled, calories burnt and total times we've done those exercises like walking, running, cycling and others. And we also have me on the bottom right where we can change our profile information. So this is pretty much it on the Halo Fun app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use, and it works really well. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.